So continuing the 2.1 two-way tables, what we're gonna look at now is look at tables and how sometimes the numbers can trick you a little bit into thinking one thing, and if you kind of just combine some of the information, the, your conclusion might then be reversed. So here's what we're gonna look at. We have de uh, airline information. We have two variables up top. We have Alaska Airlines and America West, so we have a type of airline, and we have on time and delayed for each one of those airlines. Over here we have the city that we're flying out of. So this is actually a three-way table. There are three variables, so it's considered a three-way table. Now looking at the numbers, uh, you might kind of see, I mean, there's some proportions there that might be easier to see if we do up some percentages. So if I would write up the percentages, we have 11, 5, 9, 17, and 14%. And this is the percentage of delayed flights from, for Alaska Airlines from each city. And for America West, we have 14, 8, 15, 29, and 23. And those are all percentages. So if I'm looking at this and I'm going to decide which airline do I want to fly out of, I think I don't want to fly out of Alaska Airlines. Each one of them is going to be less for each city. 14 compared to 23, some of them are a good amount less. Five and eight percent, not a huge difference, but still, Alaska Airlines is lower. Look at each individual city, Alaska Airlines has a lower percentage for each one of those, okay? Now, let's see what happens if we put all them all together. If we look at the overall delay rate for each one of our airlines, Alaska has 13% compared to 11% America West. I'm hoping you see that or at least think that's a little strange, okay? How does every individual city have a lower percentage of delays for Alaska, but if we put everything together, Alaska has the overall higher delay rate, okay? I'm thinking that seems strange. And what I wanna point out, I want you to look at where are most of the flights coming from, okay? If we look at where the high volume is for Alaska, okay, the most flights are coming out of Seattle. Okay, that's over 2,000 flights coming out of Seattle. All the rest are 600 is the next highest at San Francisco, but all the rest are well below 2,000, okay? And if you look at that percentage, it's one of the higher percentages as well. Not the highest, but it's one of the higher ones. If we look at America West, the city of Phoenix has well over 5,000 flights. Everyone else uh, over there at Los Angeles is at about 800 flights, but a little over 800 flights, nowhere close to 5,000 though. That's showing you high volume, and the percentage is going to affect the overall rate that we're looking at here. Seattle has a higher percentage of delays with more flights. That's bringing the Alaska Airlines overall up. The high volume from Phoenix at a lower percentage, that 8% is the lowest percent for delays for America West. That, that high volume and low percentage brought their overall down under where Alaska was. So the volume, where the volume is and where, what the percentage is at that high volume is going to affect the overall percentages, okay? And it flipped. The cities were all lower for Alaska, but overall Alaska had the highest delay. Okay. Now this is something we call the Simpsons Paradox. Collective proportions can reverse the direction of the relationship seen in the individual pieces. Our individual pieces were each city. Okay? Every city had its own delay and Alaska was lower for every single one. When we put everything together, that high volume and percentage combination brought America West down and brought Alaska up. So that's the Simpsons paradox for that situation. Okay? Let's look at another example. Okay? Hospital survival rate. Here we have hospital A and hospital B. And hospital B 
has a higher overall survival rate at 90%. Okay, so if you're walking up both hospitals or sitting there, I probably would go to hospital B, 90% rate. Okay, now let's look at some of the numbers if we break it down a little bit. So this time we started with the overall, and we said the overall was higher at 90%. Okay. So patients coming in in fair condition, okay, A actually has a higher percentage rate. Okay, fair condition, higher percentage rate at 98 compared to 96.7 for the hospital B. Okay, so these are people coming in with just a common cold, maybe a little sore throat. They're coming in and they're leaving at a very high rate, A a little higher than B. Here we have poor condition. Okay, the poor condition, B has a low rate of 30% compared to 52.5. These might be extreme car accidents. Okay, that are people are coming in from there and the rate of survival much lower than the fair condition 52.5 and 30 percent in both these breakdowns though a has a higher percentage so now let's look at the volume where is the volume at okay if we look at our overall maybe kind of think real quick where do you think the high volume is for hospital b where do you think the higher volume for hospital a is so here's the number of patients. Okay, so here for hospital A, we have 600 compared to 900. Okay, so we're not exactly sure where that volume is yet, but just know that B has about 300 more. Okay, so almost a 50% higher okay, than hospital A. Now here for the poor condition, we go to 400 and then only 100 for hospital B. So you can see hospital B here. 900 people, that's 90% of their patients are at the 96.7%. High volume, high percentage is bringing their overall up. Okay? Now, yes, hospital A has more people at the fair condition compared to the poor condition, but there's more people here than at hospital A than at hospital B. 400 compared to 100, it's a little more balanced between fair and poor. And this 52%, since it is so much lower than these 98 to 97%, that's gonna bring A's overall down. And that's doing the shift here, okay? So looking at the volume, and I'm gonna circle it here, okay? This is probably the one causing the most difference. 900 people at the 96.7% is bringing hospital B up to that 90%. Okay, overall rate. Now, here's a little diagram just to show that a little differently. Okay, those circles represent the patients. Okay, so hospital A had a higher volume at, a poor, at the poor, which had a lower percentage. That brought this blue line down. That's their overall rate. Okay, so that, yes, it wasn't that high. It was higher than hospital B, but overall it was a lower rate and that brought it down. Hospital B, when we're looking at the higher rates, the fair had some high percentages, those rates brought their overall up. So I'm hoping this diagram kind of shows you high volume is going to get drug up if it's a high percentage or a low percentage. Okay, so Simpson's paradox. The main thing I want you to take away from that is to look at the volume when you're looking at it individually. Where's the high volume at, and is it a high percentage or a low percentage when you're looking at it?